All right, so we are back, and we've got Amy Sproston here on the show today. We're lucky to have her. She just won the Hurt 100 out in Hawaii, and uh, and she's had an amazing year despite a, a setback at the Comrades. Um, welcome, Amy. Thank you. So uh, yeah, give me before we talk about Hurt, maybe just tell me a little bit about how your year went. Um, maybe some of the highlights uh, uh, for your for you this year. Yeah, I actually I had a kind of an up and down year. I um, had some great races and I had um, a bit of injury too. So yeah, I raced and I raced mainly out of the country. So um, was kind of off the the radar, I guess, because races that most people probably haven't heard a lot about. Um, I did El Cruce in. Uh, Chile in February, um, and then I did the Patagonia Run 100K in Argentina in April, and then at Comrades I um, tore my hamstring tendon attachment, and so I finished that, but it wasn't pretty, and then didn't race states, um, and then didn't really race again until October when I did the Hasatsune Cup in, in Japan, um, and had a great race there, and then... Uh, that leading into the world 100k and had kind of a train wreck of a race at worlds but yeah well it sounds like uh, a big year and uh you finish it off nicely with uh um well i guess hurts early this year but nonetheless a, a good a good race for you there um i was just noticing uh you you are uh, at your home here you just recently moved to uh bend from portland how's that transition been uh, i love it yeah um Ben's a great town. I have a lot of good running buddies here. Great trails, great access. Um, I'm working remotely at what I was doing in Portland before, so it's um, yeah, I can't complain. It's sunny, uh, lovely. So nice, and uh, uh, great view out the back window there. Um, yeah, I, I bought my my dream home with my two cats, and you know, hanging out in Ben. So yeah, I, I noticed the cat there. What's uh, what's the cat's name? Um, well, we have. Ella over here, and then Sam's behind me over there. So nice. Bet they uh, missed you when you're out in Hawaii, huh? Yeah, they do. That's why they're like blue, blue today and kind of in the way. So I think they were probably checking in uh, on the internet to see how you were doing. But how was uh, how was your uh, hurt race? Can you tell us, walk us through that, and let us know how that went? Um, so I tried doing hurt in 2011 and DNF after three laps, and so. Uh, and after that race, I said I would never go back because I thought it was fairly miserable. Um, I went back on vacation when I was in Oahu and did another lap um, and swore I would never do it again. And for some reason this summer, I put my name in the lottery. And so um, I really just wanted to finish so I could kind of check it off the list and um, kind of go back to some of my DNFs this year and, and finish them. So that was really my, prim my primary goal was just to finish. Now, it was a pretty stacked field for the women this year, um, but a lot of carnage both in the elites and uh, just the general field. I think we figured out it was less than a 50% finish rate. Can you kind of tell me, like, who you were running with or who you were seeing out there? Yeah, I early on I was running back and forth with Nicola Gil Gildersleeve. She was... Um, much faster than me on the downhills, and I would pass her on the uphills, so we kind of came into the the aid stations, she was usually ahead of me because it was after a down and I'd be up top ahead of her. So um, we were together for about two laps and I pulled ahead. Um, I ran some with Jamil Corey. Um, and other than that, when I ran a bunch with a guy named Sam from, from Hawaii, um, but you'd kind of see the same people going into and out of aid stations because of the way the, it's, it's basically three out and backs. So you kind of go, you start, you go up a big, climb to the the top where there's this kind of a root tangle up top um you go down into the first aid station kind of come back up and then go down on the second aid station come back up and then go down to the start finish so you're, you're doing out and backs kind of the whole day until you see you know exactly where people are in the field which is nice on a course like that plus it it gives you a chance to see people and you know say hi and passing and nice now uh Obviously, it was an accomplishment for you to, to come back and finish this race. Um, how did this kind of stack up? You know, did you expect the win, or was that kind of a surprise? Or how did that how did that feel to uh, to win? Um, it, it felt great, especially at a race that I did I didn't do well at before. Um, I I looked at my splits from 2011, and I'd run like a 4:25, then a 4:55, and like a six hour for my third before I dropped. 
So this time I figured I should probably go out slower than I did last time, but I actually came in the first lap at about 4.05, and so um, I wasn't too worried, though, because I felt good and it felt pretty slow. Um, the course was pretty dry this year, so it made it, made it feel uh, bad until later on. The second lap was, second and third were faster than, than, than I'd done in 2011. So yeah, I, I felt pretty good to three laps, and then I, I struggled a bit in four and five, but I was ahead by a couple of hours at that point, and so um, I just couldn't keep anything down, and so I, my, my feet kind of got shredded, I think, because I was so dehydrated, so. Nice. Well, congrats out there at uh, Hurt. That was an impressive uh, run, and what's your race plan for this year? Are you, I, I know you're in Gorges, uh, you're, you're trying to get back into Western States? Uh, actually, not not exactly. Um, I feel like I, last year I mainly raced internationally, so I wanted to do some local races, and Gorge is, is local for me. On February 28th, I'm doing a race called Quattro Refugios. Um, it's kind of an adventure-style race, and they have to wear a helmet the entire race, and they have like safety zones where you, they give you an amount of time to pass through, and you, if you go faster than that, you still get a, have to hold at the end because they don't want you to move too quickly through what they consider the dangerous zone. So it'll be kind of an interesting experience. Um, after that, I'm going to do Gorge Waterfalls. Um, and if I get into Western States, I may or may not do that. Um, after Gorge, I might go back to Chile for another race in April. Um, and then after that, I'm going to Australia to do the North Face 100K in the Blue Mountains. And then I'm in for UTMB. Nice. And that's what I have so far. I'm not sure what's going to happen in the fall. <laughs> it's pretty stacked as it is. I, yeah. I, I can't think that far in the future, so <laughs> that's really good. Well, hey, congratulations on Hurt, and uh, we'll definitely keep track of how your racing is going this year. And uh, Jen and I will actually be at uh, Gorge Waterfalls as well, so see you up there hopefully uh, in a few months. And um, thanks for coming on Trail Life today. Yeah, great. Thank you. And Gorge Waterfalls is, is gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, can't wait to check it out, though I'll probably be carrying two kids and, uh, and some water bottles. So, uh, But I guess that gives me more time to just enjoy the scenery. So, Yeah. All right. And uh, up next, uh, we've got uh, a humorous segment, so stick around. Mm -hmm.